This video tape will demonstrate various methods of holding work on the milling machine. The proper selection and use of work holding devices is very important in setting up efficient machining operations. This video tape will demonstrate common holding devices. The imagination and experience of the operator are the only limits in the setup of work on the milling machine. After viewing this video tape, you should be able to write down the safety precautions to be observed when working in the machine shop, identify common work holding devices, and describe their use in holding work to be machined on a milling machine. Some of the safety precautions that should be observed when using work holding devices in the machine shop are to always wear safety glasses, remove rings, watches, and other jewelry, keep sleeves rolled above the elbows, and check setups for clearance of the cutter and work. Of all the work holding devices, the most convenient may be the milling machine table itself. Clamping a workpiece directly to the table may give the strongest setup and is often the only way to hold large castings or irregular shaped pieces. It is generally done with T-bolts and clamps. T-bolts and clamps come in all sizes and operate on the simple principle of pulling straight down on a clamp supported between two points, the work and a leveling block. When clamping work to a table, the clamp must be parallel with the table to provide maximum contact with the work. Various sizes and types of blocks make this possible. Parallels, step blocks, or adjustable screw jacks are common devices for leveling clamps. The T-bolt should be as close to the work as possible to get the best clamping action. Stop blocks are clamped to the table to prevent the work from slipping when it is being machined. Round work pieces can be clamped to the table with the support of a V-block. The angle plate is a useful holding device, particularly when perpendicular alignment is required. The angle plate is clamped to the table and aligned. Then the workpiece to be machined is clamped to the angle plate. Parallels or other stopping devices can be clamped to the angle plate when a number of pieces are to be machined. Vices are a common work holding device on the milling machine. They hold the work for machining, as well as providing alignment for more than one identical part. The plain vise is one of the holding devices used most frequently. It is bolted to the machine table and aligned by two slots on the underside, which fit into the right angles of the T slots. Clamped to the table in this fashion, the vise is generally aligned well enough for rough machining or plain milling. The plain vise allows for reasonably heavy cuts. The swivel vise looks similar to the plain vise, but has a swivel under it. This vise can rotate 360 degrees in the horizontal plane for angular milling. The swivel vise is more versatile than the plain vise, but does not allow for as heavy a cut. The universal vise allows machining of compound angles on a workpiece. It swivels 360 degrees in the horizontal plane and 90 degrees in the vertical plane. This vise allows great flexibility in setups, but is only useful for light cuts. When using a vise, rough alignment can be done with a machinist square. Angular settings can be done with a protractor and scale. When very precise alignment is required, use a dial indicator. Set the vise on the table and set up the indicator. Indicate the vise until the solid jaw is parallel to the cross feed or longitudinal travel of the table. The bottom of the vise can be aligned parallel to the top of the table with shims if necessary. If the base of the vise is worn and is greatly out of alignment, 
it may be advisable to machine the bottom of the vise true again. The rotary table clamps to the milling machine and holds the work either in a vise or clamped directly to the rotary table. The rotary table provides an accurate way of indexing for dividing circles. The dividing head is also useful for both indexing and holding work. The work is held either in a chuck and supported with a footstock or between centers with a center in the dividing head and a center in the footstock. On work held between centers in the dividing head, make sure that the centers are in precise alignment, both horizontally and vertically, before setting up the work. In production work, many jigs and holding fixtures can be built for performing the same operation over and over. These devices speed production by eliminating the need to pick up a cut and align the work each time a new piece is put into the machine. To review, you should now be able to write down milling machine safety procedures, identify common work holding devices, and describe their use. The machinist will find it possible to perform almost any machining operation on a milling machine. A knowledge of work holding devices is essential in getting the most out of milling machines. <laughs>